Woo. I hope I don't knock that over by any means. Wait, let me push that over there. I have to get back on my water drinking tip. I've been slacking. This is me holding myself accountable. I gotta drink more water, as you guys should as well. Drink more water. What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a designer haul, a collective haul of some pieces that have been accumulating for the past month or so. Some very, very fire pieces in this video and it would not be possible without the beautiful sponsor of today's video, which is Farfetch. You guys already know Farfetch has been hooking up the channel plenty over the past couple of months and they were gracious enough to hit me up once again for this video and if you guys don't know what farfetch is it is basically a marketplace for designer goods and all other types of garments on the internet and they source all of them from smaller boutiques across the world so they basically act as a middleman they source it from a smaller boutique in order to get it into your hands in a sense they source clothing items from smaller boutiques and put it on their platform so that it is accessible to the mass and I find this to be such a great practice because it allows smaller boutiques to survive in a time that's not the easiest for everyone, especially with, you know, the pandemic going on and everything like that. So I'm really happy that Farfetch practices some of these ethical practices and also sustainable practices. They're very uh, cautious when it comes to even their shipping methods and other things of that nature. So all around Farfetch is just a great company and I love whenever they hit me up because it just fits line in line, you know, Kyron and Farfetch. It's a dream team right there, you know? We're like... You... Jun... Ha! I don't even watch Dragon Ball Z. I don't even know why I'm giving you guys that reference right now. Continuing on to how I could hook you guys up and get a little discount code. Keep in mind all of the details for how you could apply this discount code and all of the logistics and all of that are in the description box below because you have to take advantage for when I upload these videos. It's only for a certain amount of time. So take advantage people. I know some people use the code a little bit later and they're like, why is it not working? It's within a certain time period. So you have to take advantage right now. Check out the description box below. Use the code KyronYT10 and it'll give you 10% off of your order all of the terms like i said will be in the description box below so take advantage and get yourself some fly garms for this season all that being said i'm gonna show you guys what i got personally for this this little situation i am so excited to show you guys this it's crazy so for me acquiring this piece was keeping in mind the the up and coming theme of like just going out and having a good time it's very much festive season right now so people are partying people are getting ready to enjoy the holiday season december's upon us then january right after that and just even alone in, in november i've been just enjoying myself having a good time with friends doing a little gatherings here and there you know what i mean it's, just, it's party time and what better way to enjoy party time than getting fitted for party time you know what i mean so having some items such as the one that i'm gonna get into in a second is perfect for elevating outfits small accessories to take your outfits to the next level and adding some accessories that add a little shimmer of glamour to your fits i always find that's like a way of making things a lot more elevated and and a little bizarre to them you know what i mean and what better way to get all spazazzy than to get the ultimate dressed down elevated top tier fit attire accessory of all time i've been wanting these for so long these are a pair of Guidi. I've been wanting a pair of Guidi's for some time now. I kind of manifested these back when I was looking at a pair of boots I wanted last season. I ended up going for those as opposed to these and I regretted it. Not necessarily, it's just I wanted both and you can't have them all. You have to kind of be selective sometimes because these boots do get pricey, but through the, through the act of manifestation, they came into my life and they're here to stay. So actually let's get, let's get more into these actually. So they come with some Vibram sole protectors in a sense. So you can add these on to like add a, a lot more life to the soles of your Guidis. A lot of a lot of brands don't do this. Normally you'd have to go to a cobbler and then they would do it for you, but at least they give it to you fresh out of the bag and then you can just go and bring it to them. They'll add it on for you and you're pretty much ready to go fresh out of the bag. Comes with a big old dust bag, I believe. This is what, it says Guidi on the inside. I seen a little hint of that big old weedy tote let's flip it inside out so that people know weedy tote right there extra special 
Definitely gonna be enjoying that. Might be using that sometime soon. Nice little white tote bag. Can't go wrong with that. And the piece de resistance going crazy. The 788Z Guidi boots. I ended up going true to size, which I normally never do for leather boots or footwear rather, just because I always tend to size down because leather stretches, etc. But right out of the gate, I knew through trying on friends pairs and other pairs when I was in the market for these, I knew going true to size was the way to go, surprisingly, even though they go through a very vigorous dyeing and like a, a very vigorous dyeing method, I thought they would honestly shrink up because of that practice, yet they're still true to size. So they're sizing is pretty on point. I know people kind of like come after Guidi for their sizing, but I had no problems. It fit like a glove. It was very comfortable to me and I'm very satisfied with my purchase. Very comfortable is an understatement. For all of the leather boots that I have, this is by far something that looks very dressy as I was mentioning with the theme of why I got these. You could definitely dress these up and they look like something you'd wear getting dressed up and going to a party, but they don't feel that way when you're wearing them because of how comfortable they are like the leather first of all is super soft it's horse leather so i've never had a shoe with horse leather but it's a lot more dense if that makes sense and very just just thick it's like a thick nice robust leather pause obviously <laughs> but um but yeah just great it's just a great boot man it's just like one of the highest quality boots i've ever owned and this is the model i've always wanted either these or the pl2s still still down the line eventually hopefully i'll get a pair of the pl2s just because uh, I feel like you can't have one or the other. You gotta have both, to me at least, just because I love both of them equally. I can't, I could never pick one if someone gave me the option of picking one or the other. And you guys know I got that beautiful Farfetch tag right there to let you guys know what is real. So yeah, great, great boot. Perfect for this party era that I'm feeling right now. I'm ready to get down and boogie around town in these beautiful boots. So great. I'm really ecstatic to have these, add them to my boot collection. And yeah, I'm just ready to, ready to get busy in those. Where to eat. So excited, so excited. So once again, you guys could use the code KYRONYT10 to get yourself 10% off of your order on Farfetch. All of the links and information about how you can use that discount code will be found in the description box below. So go check that out and take advantage while the time lasts. These came all the way from Spain, might I add. So a boutique in Spain had these, then Farfetch came in the clutch and blessed me with the Guidi. Oh my God. Amazing. Purely amazing. Look at that heel. That bulbous toe. The quality, the leather. Stop playing with me. On to the next bunch of pickups. So now we got some pickups from Haven. This is back when I was in Toronto. I did not show you guys what I even got from Haven. It was my first time in that shop while I was out there and they had some nice stuff. It's very much a Japanese inspired store. The overall vibe in there is very relaxed. It's open concept, very spacious light tones all around and just like a really great vibe. It smells amazing in there. I think they had like some tall, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but every time I see it, I'm always like, ah, this smells great. I remember going to, what was it? It was Union in LA. And I think they had some incense or some type of car freshener that Fernando got and that thing was amazing. And speaking of which, they had some other type of incense there at the time. And he was looking, uh, someone was looking at them and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll give these a shot. So they came in this little Haven bag, this little lifestyle pickup for you guys. I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest incense dude, but he said that these were very mild and and not really incense-y, if that makes sense. Like not too spicy, not too um, aromatic in a intrusive sense, but more like fresh and, uh, and herbal, if that makes sense. So I'm definitely down to try these out. The only other incense I have is the ones from St. Woods. They did a collab with some company in LA and I love these, but I just don't want to burn them all the way through yet. So I have these ones to try out. I'll let you know how these are. I hope I didn't break those. I just threw them across the room. So ah, that was stupid. <laughs> yeah, I really hope those are not broken. Anyway, on to the next thing. We got a pickup from Human Made. 
So I had a human made shirt that I really liked. It was kind of like a coffee barista style shirt. I really loved it. But the only problem was the way human made shirts are made bar <laughs> um, is it's very much like a Japanese like Japanese sizing. So everything is very small. What would be a large kind of fits like a medium and it was kind of an awkward fit. So I got a large and it did fit pretty small on me. So I sized up this time, went for an XL fits like a large and it's a bit more relaxed, a bit more how I was intending the shirt to fit in the first place. And I got a whole different graphic this time, this curry up graphic. So really sick. I never got a chance to try that curry shop in Japan. I uh, never been to Japan, but this is my little ode to that. And I also just love the blank that Human Made makes their stuff on. I, I don't think it's a blank. Maybe they make it themselves, but it just like has a perfect marbling to it. And it's very like a good middle weight, middle to heavy weight, I would say. And the ribbing on the neck is just perfect as well. One of the best feeling t-shirts as far as graphic tees goes. And then there's a little human made on the back right there. Love that graphic. I'm not really a person to buy a whole lot of graphic tees these days, but if it's a good one, I will not knock it. You already know. So the next piece is showcasing how I would much rather buy into like simple um, shirts rather than graphic tees. Like if it is a graphic tee, it would be something like that. But if I'm buying into a shirt these days, it would be more something like this. So I've been looking at this shirt for quite some time now. It's been something that I've eyed and I've always needed to try before I commit to purchasing it. And it's from one of the seasons I've been getting a lot of Rick from recently. You guys know I don't know how to pronounce the name. Once again, it was the same collection of my Kiss Boots. So Fall Winter 21, holding it the wrong way. There we go. So Fall Winter 21 Rick season. And this is a long sleeve uh, and this time the raw hems are at the end of the shirt. Got this in a size large and it's just a black version of their classic long sleeve. Definitely would have to try this on for you guys so that you guys could get a better feel for it, but it just has the classic Rick tagging right there. What would be one of my hauls without a Rick piece? Um, just a great essential. It has raw hems at the bottom. And yeah, just very wearable, great essential to have in your wardrobe uh, and goes along with that same theme that I was saying. You could wear some of these pieces and just get to raging right away, honestly. Just like any type of event you're instantly ready to get down for. I've been, a lot of the events and parties I've been going to, I've just been wearing all black because it's very consistent, yet uh, you're able to wear some of, some of my most obscure or uh, noteworthy pieces are in black like my two Rick puffers, for example, or like those Guidi boots, for example. All of my things that are statement pieces are also very toned down at the same time. So a very like, if you know, you know type of fit. So yeah, that's that's what I'm leaning for with these fits for the events and the parties that I'm going to be going to in the next couple of, next couple of months. You know what I mean? <laughs> I need a water break, hold up. <laughs> I told you we're sticking to that all black theme this time, okay? We're wearing, oh, we're getting a lot of black pieces recently. I don't know if it's because I'm having that, uh, that winter depression that's hitting me right now. But as far as the winter season goes, I'm not too depressed about it. I'm kind of happy because I'm able to get creative with indoor editorial style shoots or get creative with some of the videos that I'm putting out or just buy more into different silhouettes that I wouldn't naturally buy into in the summertime because I'm limited to more of a just a shirt and a pair of pants or shorts type deal in the summertime when it's fall winter i get to be a bit more experimental so i'm excited for that and that being said this is a pair of uh, pants that i've always wanted just because the silhouette was always very obscure to me it's these pants by needles so these i actually got inspired to get because of meg's she had them uh she was trying them on not too long ago and after i saw her try them on i was like yo i need a pair she ended up getting both colors. I think she got a green and she got a black. I just went for the black because I knew that would be the most wearable for me. It has these 3D cargo pockets on the side and they're just super wide, but they seem like they would be cropped, although they're not because I sized up and they just fit great, like a great wide relaxed cargo pant. And it's something that I could see myself wearing a whole lot of this fall winter season, especially with all of the boots that I have in my collection now. It's just like a 
a solid pairing and I'm really excited to throw these on. Great for some of the Gorpy type of outfits that I would have. Any of the Arcteryx would probably pair up quite nicely with this um, alongside anything that's very like bulbous and grotesque like the puffer jackets that I have, like the Rick Owens ones, etc. This is a great versatile pair of pants. So I definitely recommend them. If you guys are in the market for something that's like a bit more relaxed cargo, this is the one. This is one of them ones. And the last piece, keeping on with that theme of like Gorpy type of style, I was looking for a wide nylon pant. I ended up adjusting a pair that I had previously, which was that pair of Alix cargos that I had the holster cargos. I added an extension in the middle of the leg to make them kind of flared. I love those. The only problem is, is that there's only two pockets, which is the holster cargos, and they, they kind of fall down when you put a lot of stuff in your pockets. So I wanted something that was just very very wide leg, yeah, wide leg and relaxed and a bit more standard. So it would be more versatile in my closet. And I stumbled across these Y Project nylon pants. I've never been big on checking out Y Project. I don't know why. <laughs> Bars once again. Um, but for some reason, I, I was just scrolling through and I had noticed that they had these on there and I just loved the pleats at the front made for a great silhouette and they were just super wide, which is right up my alley. Great drawstrings and wide as hell. So I was looking at other brands like Arcteryx or Columbia, anything that was very like hiker style and anything that was wide like this didn't have pockets or they were just kind of ill-fitting and nothing was checking all of the right boxes for me and these did. They were a bit pricey, but in order to get exactly what I wanted, I was like, I might as well just shell out the dollars because I know I'm gonna wear these a whole lot in the winter, especially with a good pair of boots, some, some Arky, you know, or uh, some type of outerwear. I'm golden, I'm good for the winter. I'm good for the party, I'm good for any event or occasion. So blacked out party time, Kyron is in a full effect, you know. We Outside is continuing all of 2021. It was in the summer, but it's lingering into the November and festive months. So I'm very excited to put all of these together for more content for you guys. Just my own sake, my own self, going and enjoying myself, having a good time, as I hope you guys are as well, safely, of course. Thank you once again to the beautiful people over at Farfetch for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out the description box below and use my discount code KyronYT10 to get yourself 10% off of your order on Farfetch. All of the details and everything will be in the description box below. Once again, you guys could go follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's where you can check out on there as well as like this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna check you guys out on the next one. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite piece from this whole haul and also what you guys are putting together for some event fits some party fits what's one of your favorite pieces right now talk to me let me know what's going on in the comments below i love talking to you guys about garms and i'm going to check you guys out on the next one peace